Yo, what is up, man? It's Tico, guys, and we are back with another NBA 2K21 current gen and next gen update. Today, with the guy Tico, it's the Corey, and guys, I'm trying to tell you, had to take some time off, had to recharge. The winter storms are gone. That's out of the way. We got rainstorms on the way, I'm hearing. But anyway, with that being said, guys, I had to take some time out and get the content up to speed, check the game, and make sure that we had what we needed and get you enough you know, footage and everything for the updates. So with that being said, before we get into the updates for today, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to keep up with the latest and greatest 2K21 current gen and next gen updates. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when the videos drop. Follow me on Twitter at Tico Istacori to know when the videos come out as well. You may not get the notification, but Twitter, I always sync the uploads with my Twitter tweets. So do that and also don't forget to hit that like button it keeps us in the youtube algorithm it keeps us going it keeps the channel getting discovered and we keep growing as a family the current gen g's next gen g's and we are the gang so with that being said guys let's go ahead and go over today's updates today's updates are going to consist of quite a bit so we're going to go ahead and go to features and we're going to go ahead and go to create roster and we're going to start out today with the WNBA which is, um, which is a, a different thing. You really don't get to see a lot of WNBA updates. I think we had one WNBA update since. So today we're gonna start out with the first move being made, which was of yesterday. Ariel Powers coming from the Washington Mystics and she was moved to the Lynx. So let's go ahead and go to the Lynx and look for Ariel Powers. All right, so Ariel Powers right here. You see it was made, the move was made. Let's go ahead and look at the player, make sure she's up to speed. I don't think that her likeness is right. And one thing I'm going to do starting today is update the likenesses of WNBA players. I'm waiting for all the moves to be made in WNBA before I start updating the likenesses and making everything realistic like I do with the NBA players. But she is right now rocking with the link. So that move has been made and 2K has updated that. So when we get the server updates, required we get that message that means that things are happening like roster updates even some likeness updates that come from the patch so if you for say we get a big patch 40 40 some gigs it's still like player likenesses in it they're unlocking that stuff as they go daily so that's that the second WNBA situation would be Lindsay Allen was traded to the fever from the aces so uh let's go to the fever and look and check and see if that was right is where Lindsay Allen is going to be. She's not available and she comes from the Aces. So we can go check the Aces and see if she's over here. And she's still there. So 2K didn't update that, Bruh. which I get all my news from WNBA.com. But I did see one move. So I wanted to just check and see if other stuff happened. Either you got to make the trade or wait for 2K to make it. I'm going to wait for 2K to make it so they can get the contract information right and that I can go in and update the likeness and have a good base roster. So that's that. The next thing it says is Bria Holmes was signed to the LA Sparks and she played for the Sun. Okay, she's still for the Sun. Bruh. So that means that she hadn't been signed to the Sparks yet. And of course her player likeness is off. I already checked. Her gear and everything is like off. So it needs to be updated, which will get done when I get an opportunity to do it when 2K does their part. So that's that. All right, the next thing we're gonna look at is Shatori Walker Kimbrough. She is to join the Atlanta Dream and she plays for the Mercury in 2K. So I already noted this, that she's playing for the Mercury. So let's go ahead and go to Shatori Walker Kimbro. And you got to go to the Mercury and find her because she's not on her team. I don't know if 2K did it. I don't know what's going on with them, but I did see one move being made and 2K took it away. I think it was the uh, Sparks move, but her she is right here. And you can see it right here. This is her. She's not playing for the correct team. She's supposed to be playing for the dream right now, but that move wasn't made. So we're just gonna continue to go through this stuff. Yeah, another WNBA thing too. I don't know if you guys uh, even keep up the WNBA updates and stuff in the game, but if you go to, uh, oh, you can't do that on here. I'm sorry, gosh. They didn't give them an actual practice gym or uh, you. So that's crazy. Let's go, I am keep I keep hitting it wrong, but all right. So let's go to WNBA and we'll just go to Aces. We'll just choose a team. I'm on the 1X right now. Well, not the 1X, the Series X. So being on the Series X gives me that lightning speed to go ahead and load into the game. So it took literally a few seconds to load in, boom, and we're already ready to go. So one thing I wanted to, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the WNBA bubble. So this is basically the WNBA bubble. If you're not to speed, up to speed with that, this is the WNBA bubble. The WNBA bubble was last year, 
I don't know if they're in it this year. I think they're going to be playing in their original stadiums this year, just like the NBA. But in NBA 2K21 next gen, the WNBA bubble is not a thing. But in 2K21 current gen, the WNBA bubble is a thing. And this is where these females are playing at right now. Um, so, yeah, the Black Lives Matter is on the, on the floor. And, yeah, that's that. So... Yeah, I wanted to just point that out as well, too. I'm, it's like a lot of stuff going on that we really, like, a lot of people don't know about. So I got to make these updates, okay? And we're going to go ahead and jump into the other updates of today. So Andre Roberson was a free agent, and now he is actually inked up on a one-year contract with the Brooklyn Nets. Now, the funny thing I've seen is that he was supposed to be released. I saw it on the bottom of ESPN, like on the screen, a little ticker, that he was going to be released. So he is over here now, though, in 2K and... I think I've seen him on the sideline or even playing in the game, which was very, very, very different. So, yeah. But check it out, though. We got Roberson in the game. This is him. This is his likeness. Of course, that was updated in the game. So, I don't know. You guys play the game all the time, so you probably would know who was in the game. And let's go and look at the second player that was added to a team. Shasun Randall is a two-way right now. I was playing in the G League, and now he is signed to the Magic. You know, they lost Markel Foltz and... Of course, your son Randall was a free agent, and now he is signed and ready to go playing for the Magic. So if you have a, a my career or if you're doing a, a my GM or my league or my NBA, you'll be able to get this guy inside of your roster if you play for the Magic or you get to see him. So he's not really a super exciting superstar to actually play, to actually play with, but you know what I mean, just to know, you know, got to know the knowledge. So the next player we're going to look at today, he was added to the... Houston Rockets by the name of Justin Patton. He's a two-way player as well, G League player. And in 2K, he was added on the roster update. Because they, they, they do roster updates every day, but this is him. He's added from the free agent pool. And check him out. He's there. So that's an update for you guys as well. Another update that stood out to me was a player likeness update when I was going through uh, 2K20. I was actually playing 2K20 earlier, going through player likenesses and just trying to see what was updated. And just looking at previous stuff I had. Let's go ahead and go to the Raptors. The guy named Aaron Baines. So Aaron Baines was updated. Aaron Baines used to be bald headed and then he went from being bald into having hair. His hair was literally like red. Now it's like a little bit darker than that. If you look at him right here, it's a little bit darker than what it was before. So he had a, a hair and beard color change. He was updated his likeness. So if you look at it right here, it's a little brown, especially when you look at it from far, it was actually changed a little browner than, than red. So that was Aaron Baines. Had a likeness update. Okay, I'm this one right here I'm about to do is check for Monte Ellis. Someone said Monte Ellis was added, and when I was checking previous like 2K rosters and stuff like that, and Monte Ellis wasn't in the game. Up, oh, he is here. Monte Ellis is here, and he has a brand new face too as well. Yeah, that's him. That is Monte Ellis. Shout out to whoever told me that in the comments. Let's see who said that. I think I wrote it down. Um. Nope, I didn't write it down, but whoever you are, bro, shout out to you. Thank you. He's tatted up, too. This is crazy. Tatted from the legs, the calf, all the way up to the body. Check it out. It's dope. Okay, I didn't even know. I didn't even know he was in the game. I knew he was supposed to be in my team. And it was supposed to be having a, uh, a version of him in the team. I mean, my team in the game. But yeah, that's, uh, that's impressive. That's dope. All right. So the next player we're going to look at is Yuta. Watanabe that was dunked on by your, your, yours truly, Ant-Man. So he's playing for the Raptors. And that dunk was crazy, man. This guy was posterized. So right to you to Watanabe. Okay. And he has a likeness update in the game. Somebody said that he had a likeness update. So this does look pretty dope versus the one that I seen before. Uh, I actually throw the one I seen before on the screen. But let's look at this one first. Let's check him out. Look at the face. And this is actually all right compared to the other one because the other one didn't look nothing like him. And I'll put it on the screen in a minute, but let's go ahead and go to shoes and gear and look at the body and see if the body looks like it's a match. Yes, yeah, him. All I can think of is this guy getting dunked on by Anthony Edwards. Ant-Man did him dirty. And yeah, I don't know him for nothing else, but the famous Ant-Man dunk, the poster. All right, so let's go ahead and throw the old one on the screen right now. Now, this is the old one. This one don't look, yeah, this one don't look too well. This one don't look too good. Don't look that good to me, but there you go. Now let's go back and look at the current updated version of Watanabe and right here, check them out. That's it. 
So we got a new one in the game. So uh, shout out to whoever said that was him in the comment section. Shout out to all y'all, man. All right. So someone said Seku Damboya. Player likeness was updated, which I believe. And he plays for the Pistons. And he had a card in my team, too. They were spotlighting him. So I'm thinking he did. So let's go ahead and jump and look at the edit. And this does look. Yeah. You know what? I did see an update because I went to next gen and this is the same exact player likeness update in the game and it just reflects over they, like I said they transfer over the player likeness updates from next gen and the current gen so yeah this is legit and I can show you the old one too the old one don't look nothing like this the old one looks yeah it don't look that good so this is an update so shout out to whoever told me that this is an update shout out to you for that and let's go ahead and look at the old one I'm gonna throw the old one on the screen right now check this old one out don't it really didn't have like the definition and the likeness like the newer one so i just want to show you this old one real quick and let's go ahead and go back to the new one check them out right here yep and he has a card in my team so i know like they always do that when they get a player scan or update they go to my team and they actually spotlight that player and that's how you know so that's another little given that i've always noticed from 2k when they add another player likeness in the game. So let's go ahead and look at the next player. Uh, Luca. Okay, so the next player we're going to go into is we're going to go into likenesses that I actually fixed. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm fixing five and I'm putting all five on all consoles, right? On all generations, except the PS5. I don't have a PS5 yet. But what I'm going to do is go and show you the five players that deserve to get an update that's been playing really good and you can download them with my rosters. So let's go to create roster and let's go to NBA. We're gonna go over to user created roster. This stuff I still need to fix, I know guys, but I'm just give me time. I'm just one person. I can't do three and four consoles alone, but I'm doing my best. Like not, I can do them, but not fast, like super fast. But let's go ahead and go to the first player. So the first player I wanna go ahead and give a shout out to is Luca Dunches, Luca the Dunn. And I did update him because of the game he had hitting game winners. So let's go to the accessories and Luca was updated shoes. Has the uh the left elbow small band. He has the the leg gear, the leg sleeves, the socks. I mean, he has the joints now. The joints that he wear, they're not in the game. But I gave him these because they're close. But he's not wearing the other joints, the 35, so he switched the shoes. But this is an updated Luka Doncic, the Luka the Dunn. This is crazy. Wanted to do that for you guys. He's live right now on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, not Xbox Series X check. I'm still trying to get enough likenesses updated on Series X to release that update. So y'all just give me some time. All right, so Luca was done. Shout out to him for playing really well. Another player I wanted to show you that was updated. Let's go ahead and go to the Celtics. It's Kimba Walker now. If you watch the game with Kimba, you know that this guy got his, uh, sh his shirt, the little undershirt, short sleeve was added back. They, in 2K, I always had a wristband on him for some reason, but I took it off his wrist. He's wearing these 35 still in different colors. I know the colorways like are all over the place. Yeah, so I just do, I, I got the basic joints on his feet. And then he has his grunt shocks, so the tall squash shocks, I'm sorry, with the uh, hex pad. So this is an updated Kimba. And yeah, you guys need to know that. Y'all needed this. We all need the update. He's available too on both platforms, on PS4, and he's available on the Xbox. So we got Kimba, shout out to him. He ain't been playing too many, you know, minutes, but just want to give him a shout out. I wanted to update his likeness. Okay, so the next person I want to give a shout out to is that boy Bruce Brown, bro. This dude is coming along, and I wanted to update his likeness. Uh, so you go to Bruce Brown, you'll see that he has leg sleeves, shorter shorts, and he's wearing the Kyrie 5. So I had to throw the fives on him. Then he's wearing the crazy colorways when it comes to the all black, or if he's wearing the, the City Edition jerseys. And he has uh, his leg sleeves, right? So. He's updated on both consoles as well, PS4, Xbox One. So go out and get that. Go out and download it. He's ready to go. And yeah, shout out to him for putting up a nice game. He put up a big game the other night. The game was nice. All right. The next person is going to be Rashawn Holmes. Like People don't really pay attention to him. And one thing about 2K, he didn't have like a next gen. I can show you on next gen. I'll just show you. But Rashawn Holmes normally wears that headband. Or the, yeah, I got the headband back on. I went back and put the headband into my cloning. And then I imported his attributes to get everything right, fixed his contract. So if we go look at him, this is what he's wearing, the hex pads, the socks. He has the Giannis on. So, I mean, he's really uh, updated. Yeah, this is a better version of him right now. And I did fix the Derrick Rose situation where they say his name. I did fix that on both consoles. So 
feel free to get these rosters and when you get this roster update from me you will get like stuff that's fixed and I always check the numbers and see how many times I've updated them because if you see a number move up that means that I've updated something in the rosters and I'll just come later with a video but Rashawn Holmes guys fixed looking like itself wearing the right shoes 2k y'all know y'all can do this and I think on next gen he didn't have the headband if I'm not mistaken but it may be an option to add it so let me get out of it all right and the last person I wanted to give my props to is the Utah Jazz and the Utah Jazz has Donovan Mitchell which is a great player Shaq talked crap about him but he's doing well he had a likeness update as far as his uh, as, as his uh, shorts and his not his shorts his uh, his leg his sleeve and then he has the Don Issue 2s right with the uh, yellow tennis ball like colorway. He wears those, so I did update that. And then there's a way right here. He has the black ones with the sleeve. So the sleeve is the only thing we're pretty much missing and his socks are fixed or whatever. So let's get out of this. Um, what else? I think that is it for current. So yeah, we're done. Keep the changes in return. But these are all the updates today. And I'll just exit without saving. We'll jump right over to next gen. Matter of fact, let's go to home. All right, there we go. We'll jump over to next gen, and we will look at the Rashawn Holmes real quick to see if the Rashawn Holmes is right, because I want it to be right. It's, I don't know. It's just something about next gen. I wish that they would implement in current gen. Like, as far as the headband edits and the hair edits, like, they should just put that stuff in current gen. Just why not? Just go ahead and do it. It's in the system. Go ahead and get it out the way. I got to do that to try to make it speed up. That's a tip to speed up the loading. And this this is like next gen, this is fast, right? SSD, there's no way it should be going slow. All right, let's get that off the screen. Features, create roster. And we're gonna go to my rosters. So NBA, and I do have rosters, like I do have them. I just haven't released them yet. All right, so let's load this in and we're gonna go over to Kings. So we're going to go to Rashawn Holmes, edit player. And hopefully we can change his hair. Because if you look at him, it's the same one that's encouraging. If you go to accessories, hopefully no hair. See, Bruh. that's the thing. You got to do the headband edit encouraging to get things right. But my current gen version of Rashawn Holmes on PS4, Xbox One is correct. It's right. It works. It looks good. Everything is right. Shoes, everything. And I just can't believe I can't add a, I can't add a headband. Like, why? Like, why can I do that? Like, 2K. Please give Bruh. us the option to add headbands and all the other stuff. Like that's crazy. Uh, let's uh, keep them, keep them going. Uh, what else? Let's see. I got Luca over here as well. Celtics. I did do the Kimba. So if you go look, Kimba is fixed. It's just like the one I got on current gen. So my rosters are pretty. They pretty solid, man. I'm. I'm. And as I'm like working, I'm starting to figure this thing out. Like how to actually work and how I can do it, and to get things right. Because it's all trial and error with me, and I'm getting better at this, so it ain't gonna do nothing but get better, man. Check it out. We got Luca the Dunn. He's fixed, just like he's fixed on next gen. I mean, current gen. Except the shoes, which I need to fix the shoes right now. So let's fix the shoes while we're at it. Why not? Let's go to model, all the way down to the bottom. And these are the ones that I actually put on him, or the point twos. All right. So I'm on there. Boom. There we go down to the bottom and here we go Luke the done updated but yeah um what else one thing too let me go ahead and show y'all this let's go to the Timberwolves this is interesting to see so let's go to D-Lo and I don't hey look check this out look at this he got his new headband with the new hairstyle but the hairstyle actually has the headband over like the locks right I mean, but it's still on here. So I did update it in my roster update. Go to, go to shoes and gear. You see his shoes, but you can see the whole body, right? Check it out. It's just ready, right? So this is going to be interesting. My WNBA updates are going to be interesting because I am working on the roster as soon as they finish that. I can't really see myself doing nothing else. Uh, what else? Let's see. Anybody else I need to look at while we're here? Let's go back. Oh, cat. Cat. I'm going to edit his hair. See, I got the hair on it. Same exact head, this is encouraging. So, I mean, this is it, guys. This is about as good as it's gonna get for me. But that's pretty much it, man. I'm just 22 minutes and 43 seconds, a long video. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. 
I don't think you're gonna get it like this nowhere else. Where you're gonna get current gen and next gen combined in the same video, but for current gen Gs and next gen Gs. So with that being said, hit that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're new, you wanna stay up to date with the latest and greatest 2K news. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when the videos come out. You need to be notified when it's drop. Follow me on Twitter at Tico's to to know when this stuff comes out. If you don't get your notifications on YouTube, you can go to Twitter, get those notifications, and you will see exactly what I'm putting out and what 2K has done and what I've done. And don't forget to hit that like button because it helps us in the YouTube algorithm to grow and become a bigger family. We the G's, we almost at 50,000 subs. We're working my butt off, man. We're going to get there. Y'all have a good day. More updates to come. I got gameplay coming too soon. Y'all going to like it. It's going to be dope. All right, it's your boy Tico. I am out.